All right, guys, so Dokkan has a problem, a very, very big problem. Now, this started because of LR, Kale, and Khalifa. Now, a lot of people don't want to accept it still, but Kale and Khalifa are the best unit in the game. And it's not just that, but even, like, their TUR, right, is, I would say, easily the best TUR in the game. This unit turns Gogeta Blue, Easy A Janemba into fodder. This is the best TUR in the game. They are... Pure insanity. They do everything. Stacking defense, attack, dodging, all that stuff. You guys already know well and good how strong, you know, this unit is. Now, with this unit, we notice a sort of issue. You know, I, I, issue, I guess, is what we could say. Where when Kale and Khalifa, as part of their passive, they get additional key uh, on, when, like, when they attack, right? So, with this, we were able to see that they would get extra key for their additional attacks. So, like, you know, we would see their key begin to build up. There was sort of this overflow mechanic that we did not realize was present in the game. That's why this unit is able to get up to a 30 key uh, super attack. You know, it's from the extra key from their passive, the way it works, you know, all that. So, then Dokkan uh, basically puts out an article in the news saying... You know, uh, it's unintended. You know, it's going to be amended in the future. Well, that leads us to where JP Zokan is at right now, where there is a litany of problems here. Bugs. Pretty bad bugs, honestly. Uh, really, really bad stuff. Uh, really deceiving stuff. Just a lot of oddities. Now, I talked with Goresh. Me and him did some talking. And we agreed that all these bugs are probably, like, stemming from the fact that they tried to sort of fix the way, like, the key would overflow, and it was in doing that that caused, you know, all of this, uh, you know, these issues, right? Now, they did make a statement in the news, basically, you know, confirming all the issues, right? Uh, and then they said that they will be addressed soon. So let's go ahead and head over to Gresh's tweet right here. Uh, you know, this is an announcement on the various bugs found on the JP side of Dokkan Battle. Of course, you know, big shout-outs to Gresh uh, for the translation. So... We have confirmed the following bugs. Characters who can launch multiple super attacks are performing much better than intended. So, uh, what does that mean? Well, what does that mean indeed? Here, let me see. I, I want to find... I have a whole bunch of... Like, I've gathered a lot of evidence of people showing the wonky stuff. So, here is a free dupe AGL Broly. Now, a rainbow AGL Broly, I believe, was able to get to, like, uh, just a little bit above 3 million. I believe so. Uh, and then here's, you know, AGL Broly with a 4.27 million attack stat. Obviously, this is unintended. You know, Broly's damage is way, way too high at that point, right? Uh, so, w what this issue appears to be, like, you know, if you guys watch my update video from yesterday, where it's... it's definitely coming from additional attacks like you know i even had a situation where i had like a 12 key super attack with lr kale and khalifa and then on their additional attack they had 24 key like just like very odd like very weird behavior the attack stats go so hot like insane attack stats way higher than ever possibly could be but then the damage does not align which takes us to point number two right here the attack value for characters when attacking is higher than their actual damage output. This has no effect on actual damage dealt. We have noticed this because, you know, particularly on the Dokkan sub, there has been a lot of people who have posted, like, you know, I don't know, the Spirit Bomb GT Kagoku with, like, a, you know, 50 million attack set or something like that. But then he does, like, you know, 3 million damage or something. Like, obviously, the attack sets are not corresponding to the amount of actual damage being dealt, right? So... Even though, like, it seems, like, see, that's the thing. For the most part, like, I, I saw a lot of people were like, oh, yes, I beat, you know, Super Battle Road. Or, you know, I saw some people, like, go, oh, do the punching bag event, do the punching bag event. But I, I think, I don't think it actually had any difference for those. Like, you know, if you beat Super Battle Road with this bug active, uh, I don't think it's because of this bug. I think you were just able to beat it, right? Like, it, it doesn't seem like on the additional attacks, uh, there's extra damage being dealt. But... I think for LRs, it does work differently. It's very hard to tell exactly, right? Because uh, people, I have seen people say that LRs are definitely hitting harder, but, you know, it, it's very wonky. Uh, the app can sometimes force close when choosing an easy A. I've not seen anyone uh, have this issue. 
We're currently in the process of fixing issues 1 and 2 mentioned above, and we'll implement a fix for the issue in a planned update shortly. Uh, and then they're investigating point 3 mentioned, and we'll provide guidance on that when possible. We will provide details about compensation. So now, I guess, you know, we'll look at some more of these bugs, you know, some things people have found, uh, like a very bad issue with LR Bully and stuff, but compensation. Now, I'm realistically like these there are a number of issues annoying issues so i could see them going up to 50 stones uh you know i a long long time ago there was some issue with super attacks on the jp version of the game and i believe they gave out 50 stones to all players uh because the game was pretty much unplayable for a day i don't know that this is as bad although there's some really bad bugs here but again i could see jp getting up to 50 stones uh, I don't think the mythical 300 stones is in play again. I mean, it could happen. I mean, I, I just, you know, global players remember, like, <laughs> that, like there's pros and cons to each version. Uh, on JP, compensation is much, much higher. It's just a fact. So when JP gets, like, a big stone reward from all this, uh, I urge y'all not to be too upset because, again, that, that's just the differences between versions. If it is something that bothers you, bothers you to that extent, like, my only recommendation is to play JP. I know a lot of people will say, like, oh, but you can't just, I can't just get up and give up on my global account. But it's like, I mean, I did that. <laughs> I, You know, after LR Goku Black came out, I was like, fuck this. <laughs> to JP I go. And then once I got there, I was like, uh, I don't really need to play global anymore. <laughs> So I just stayed on JP. Like, I know it's hard to let go, but I mean, this, it, it, you know, this stuff. Here's the other thing, too. A lot of bugs that have happened on JP have actually carried over and eventually come to global, right? So you guys remember the infamous uh, bug where in the transform state, the giant mode, when you would finish the enemy off, the game would crash and you would have to restart the event. That was on JP before it came to global. It, it, but for JP, that was only around, I feel like, for a couple weeks before an update came out that fixed it. Whereas for Global, it was around for months. Like, you know, it, just definitely uh, issues that uh, definitely don't need to be there, but were, <laughs> right? All right, so let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Now, the other thing about this is they have not... <laughs> whatever they wanted to do with Kale and Khalifa, uh, they didn't actually do it yet. <laughs> so... That is a notice in the news as well here. Let me go ahead and pull uh, DBZ Space back up because I believe it's right. I, I think it's in, in this right here or wait, wait, is it? Yeah, it might be this right here. Yeah, they update it right here. Uh, now also become being modified correspondent. Present problem is scheduled to be fixed and update soon. So whatever they're going to do to Kale and Khalifa has also not been done yet. That's another thing. Now, there are a number of other big issues that people found yesterday. This, honestly, is the worst one. This is a major, major problem right here. So, here, let me full screen this uh, right here. Okay, so what's about to happen here is LR Broly no longer does an AoE on his second super attack. So, as you guys know, LR Broly does a double super attack, right? Uh, and then on his 12 key super, he does an AoE. He hits all enemies. The issue is that LR Broly no longer does an AoE on his second super attack. That's a real problem. And that is something that can really negatively impact, uh, you know, uh, whatchamacallit, the world tournament. So, you know, this, to me, I think this is probably the most glaring issue that they definitely have to fix. Obviously, you know, this is not intended for LR Broly's second super attack to no longer be an AoE. Like, you know, that's, you know, again, most of the issues do seem to be coming from additional attacks. So, uh, specifically with units like Tech Vegito Blue, LR Kale, and Khalifa... Uh, you know, the problems are going to appear magnified. So, you know, that's just an important thing to keep in mind. And then here we go. Here's Broly's second super attack. Now, I did test this myself as well. And it doesn't matter if you get Broly's 18 key super first or his 12 key super first. And then see, boom, no AoE. Did not AoE. Very annoying. Uh, but that bug uh, is persistent with Broly. 
regardless of if you get the 18 key super first or the 12 key, it still happens. Uh, now, here's another very weird one. So, uh, I saw several screenshots of this happening where people were seemingly dying and then, you know, they were still alive. And now, I believe this was an issue related to the Great Ape transformation uh, because if uh, there's another one, I think right here, uh, is this the same thing? Yeah, where it, it does appear as though like a great ape or a giant transformation uh, occurred. They got hit a bunch of times. You know, damage is supposedly carrying over. Uh, and then here we go. I just got killed while a metal cooler's transformed state. Uh, there it is right there. We can see the proof. Finished off in the transform state, which you're not supposed to take damage. So there's definitely some sort of glitch uh, with the giant transformed versions of characters as well. Now, that one, I don't really understand that. Uh, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So, I mean, we'll see what exactly caused that. But, like, you know, I, I understand how the additionals are messed up and stuff because I wanted to change that one part about, you know, the overflow key for units like Full Power Freeze at LR Khalifa and Kale in Ultimate Gohan. But the, I don't really understand what's going on with the giant apes, right? Uh, and then here, here we have another issue of, you know, a character doing way too much damage. Uh, obviously, that is LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku with a 15 million attack stat. Uh, a little higher than he's usually able to get to. Uh, here we go. Kaioken Blue Goku with a 4 million attack stat. I promise y'all, uh, Kaioken Blue Goku cannot get that high. Uh, and then here we go. Another one of these issues, as you guys can see. Uh, this happened to a lot of people. And again, every single person that this happened to, uh, it does look like they have a giant unit. So this guy probably had Beerus in his giant or his rage transformation, took the damage, and then that next turn start out with zero health. Just oddities all over the place. And then, oh yeah, <laughs> here's uh, the free-to-play Supreme Kai uh, with a very, very high attack stat of 14 million, as y'all can see. <laughs> I, lo I love, <laughs> he said, yeah, very strong. <laughs> so, I mean, we'll see what's going to happen. Uh, what is this? Over 100 million attacks that. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the nuking event, uh, especially, again, it, it, it seems to be some sort of issue with, like, overflow key and stuff like that. So, specifically, if you're able to get, like, a ridiculous amount of key like this, it just seems to keep on going and going and going. So, there we go, guys. There's, like, a lot of the issues that uh, JP Dokkan is currently facing. I mean, hopefully, uh, these will be fixed soon. Like, I, I don't, I'm a little hesitant to do showcases right now because, like, you know, with these additionals being so out of whack and the numbers being so out of whack, it, it's gonna, I don't know, not, not get a proper representation how some of these characters can actually act. We'll see. Again, I don't expect, you know, 300 stone compensation for this. A number of annoying bugs, but... I feel as though if they gave out, like, 50 stones, that would suffice. That's a free multi. I think that's more than good enough. Um, and we'll see what they actually do. Now, remember, again, for the final time, global players, you know, JP does usually get crazy compensation. So, you know, if, like, 100 stones drops or something like that, I mean, you know, <laughs> I don't know what to tell y'all. It's, it's, unfortunately, it's just the way it is. You know, global, at this point, I, I don't, like, the things that are bad about global are not changing. The things that are, you know, bad about JP are, are not changing. You know, no step-ups, no ticket summons and stuff like that on JP, and then the bad compensation on global. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'll let y'all go now. Uh, it's definitely a weird, weird, like, uh, day or two here for Dokkan. Hopefully they get this fixed before the Golden Week stuff starts, but you never know. So, again, let me know what y'all think of uh, the insanity, and I'll catch y'all next time.